Man, uh, how does it feel to hold wins over not one but two Nemcod brothers now? Uh, thank you. It feels uh, oh, it feels great, to be honest. And you went out there. You got you swept the scorecards. One judge gave you a thirty twenty six. Um, was that pretty much what you were expecting to, out of yourself tonight? Well, I had a game plan coming in. My game plan was to tire him out. Uh, unfortunately for me, he tried to go for that guillotine very hard. So I just let him hold it for a while and just controlled my breathing. And then when I thought it's enough, I went for the takedown. And the game plan was to tire him out and just like ground and pound him. I knew he's a tough guy, a lot of fights. So it's going to be very hard to finish him. He's fought a lot of tough opponents. So I thought in my mind before the fight, it's going to be a free round war. And were you surprised that he held on to that guillotine for so long? Uh, well, you got to go for it in this sport. And he went for it. And he didn't succeed with it, but he tried again. The first time it was close, but I'm very conscious about my breathing and I felt I had very good breathing in the fight. So I was able to breathe a lot through my nose and I heard his breathing was a lot of mouth breathing. So I thought, are oh, we just going to capitalize this, this on this and make him tired? Most of the focus in your division right now is on the tournament, but do you feel like you're kind of a dark horse? I mean, you have a win over the champion. Well... Nobody expects me to beat them. I'm always kind of the underdog. So I'm used to it. I just go there and do my thing. And well, some most of the time it works and sometimes you hit bumps in the road, but it's just like keep moving forward, keep working hard and aim for your dreams. Scott Coker told me yesterday that, that Victor might have been an alternate depending on what happened in the tournament. If his brother got knocked out, he would maybe come in. Uh, for you would, you, would you fill that role if they came to you and said, hey, we need an alternate. Would you mind stepping in? Maybe, it's all up for discussion. So if the right, right offer is, sure. We'll take a few more questions here. Jay? Hey, thanks very much. And uh, congratulations on the win tonight. I mean, I know you fought outside of the promotion last year, but you've had to wait a bit to show Bellator fans what you're really capable of after that debut. How happy are you to get that first win in Bellator tonight? And uh, when would you like to return? Well, thank you. It was very important to me to get this first win in Bellator. I had a showing here for two years ago against Phil and it didn't go my way and I learned and I proved a lot since since. I feel I got my game plan through and I was able to do some good work. And uh, I have to wait and see how this whole event today ends because I have a, I was supposed to fight, I don't want to name his name, but they told me he was injured, but I know he's on the card today, so I don't know. I don't know if he was injured or not or scared, but I don't know. We'll see after the event. All right. And, you know, I, I've got to ask because you do have wins over the Nemkovs. You have fought against Phil Davis, and the main event tonight is the Dean Nemkov versus Phil Davis. Who do you see getting the win in that? Well, I think it's a very tough fight for both of them. It's, uh, but this time it's five rounds, and I think five rounds is more towards Phil, I guess. Harry? Hey, Carl, congratulations on the win. So you were a moderate better betting underdog heading into this fight. So uh, how does it feel to play spoiler in Vegas tonight? Well, it feels great. It feels great that nobody believes in you, but you can succeed anyway. There you go. And uh, on, on the topic of playing spoiler, uh, how does it feel to kind of spoil the, uh, the Nemkov brothers and Team Fedor's big night? Well, it's not the first time. So, uh, you know... <laughs> I like it, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, they have a great team. They have a legendary coach and they're all very skilled and it's an honor to face them and be able to do battle with them. I really like these guys. All right. Thanks for the time, Carl. Thank you.